Folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about how to get that old time fiddle sound. That's the tune is Carry Me Back by Old Crow Medicine Show. Separate lesson on how to play that. But we're going to concentrate on um, a particular aspect of the old time sound is something I call the offbeat hoedown accent. It sounds almost scientific. It's such a long term. Basically, we take the hoedown, which is long, short, short. First of every two short notes, we accent it. So the accent will fall on beats one, uh, sorry, on beats two and four. So like one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. All right? You may even want to say that as a form of practice. One, two, three, four. One, two, and so on. I hope you get it. When you're trying to learn new things and solve musical problems, it's good to try as many different angles as possible. So sometimes saying it or maybe clapping it like one, two, three, four, one, two, helps. Okay, so, but let's get back to playing the fiddle. That's why you're here on Fiddlehead, right? So I'm gonna suggest to you a few ways to practice this and give you kind of a, a practice plan so that you can master this and then you can do it on any tune. Here's another tune, like Arkansas Traveler. So, first thing I'm gonna suggest is doing it very slowly with stopping the bow. And so the accent to create that, we put a little grit in the bow. Try that without even playing. Some students don't like to do this. They find it too harsh. But just try to give it a little dig. All right, you can try it up bow. That's the first step to getting it. That's actually, could be it's a whole lesson on its own, just getting this right. In fact, I recommend you pause the video, especially if you're a beginner, and practice that grit thing right now. Okay, I'm glad we did that. Now let's move on and put that grit into the tune. Into, sorry, into the hoedown pattern. So I put a little stop after the grit and I'm also adding a little extra bow for the accent, so. Notice how the bow is moving, it gets a little extra bow, it's remaining in the middle, middle third, between the two pieces of tape. Notice how it travels from one end to the other because we're starting down bow. So that accented note's going to be alternating down bow and up bow. So I recommend doing this, if you want to really get this, develop a practice regiment with it. So do it like, I'm going to suggest 10 times this way. All right. And then do it another 10 times where you don't stop the bow, but you play it with a little more flow. And then um, I'm going to suggest that you speed it up to a medium speed with flow. And maybe a medium speed with staccato. Staccato is uh, the official music term for stopping the bow. So you could do um, what we basically did um, staccato or stopping the bow and flowing, legato is the term for that, 
slow tempo, medium, and then fast as well. In fact, I think fast, it's, you might want to just stick to the flowing. It's, it's kind of awkward maybe to do the staccato at that speed. Be sure not to try it fast until you've really gotten it down more slowly. But maybe do it at your fast tempo, whatever that is. Okay, so that alone, if you just shut the video off now and never d did anything else d from me and you mastered that accent, if you didn't watch any more of my videos, you would have been worth your time because you can apply it to everything. And so that's what we're going to do a little bit now. We're going to apply it to a scale. So just a run of the mill, meat and, the, meat and potatoes, D major scale, all right? So just first play it with hoedown to get going. No accent, no accent. Okay, so do that up and down a few times, hoe down, just straight. And now try it with the offbeat accent. Does it feel like um, rubbing your belly and patting your head? Well, it should, it's hard, very hard. And so that's why I want you to practice starting on open strings, 10 times on, on slow, with staccato, so forth. I'll summarize it in the description, all right? And then when you get to scales, do a scale 10 times with it, all right? You can switch the scale if you like, all right? Um, and then for more advanced players, I have one more idea. Again, so if you're an absolute beginner, I would hold off on this. But basically, I've taught this bowing called slur to separate to on scale. So it's like slur to separate, separate, slur to separate, separate. All right. So what I'm going to suggest is that you put the offbeat accent. Basically, slur to separate to creates hoedown. Like long, short, short, long, short, short. So we're just going to use the offbeat accent there. slow with the stopping. It's hard, okay? So do it the simpler ways first. Final thing you can do is to try it on some songs, all right? And don't do a whole song with it yet, unless you're already advanced with the fiddle or music. I would say start with one little phrase, the beginning of Arkansas Traveler. the song after you master that and you've played that a bunch. And then speed it up. So just start with little phrases, looping on the little phrases. Um, and then it will it'll it'll start to just happen in your playing. But so again I recommend doing these very simple exercises, open strings 10 times a day on each one of these. The whole cycle is, a, is I think it's 50 times you'll be playing it each time and maybe do the cycle twice. You could do this whole cycle, you know, maybe at the beginning at the practice and at the end or in between to break up tune practice. Um, but So I'm going to start to offer you little practice ideas so that you can, you know, just efficiently practice something new um, and still have fun, still be creative with your practice. All right. Well, it's been fun showing you this. I'm really excited to hear what you have to say about it. So leave me a message and you can uh, show me how well you've learned it by going to the Fiddlehead Facebook page, leaving a video there, you know, so we can all share and look at what, what everybody's doing, okay? So um, thanks a lot. See you next time. Thanks for